Well, you guys have probably seen this trailer in a few videos of mine, maybe in the background or whatever, but I've never talked about it much in a video yet because today was the first time I've used it, in fact. This, this is it. This is what it is. It's a Triton 16-foot aluminum trailer. It is missing one of the one of the runs along the ramp, so I basically just used this board, and uh, that worked pretty well. And uh, I'll figure out something to put in there. Uh, maybe I can find somebody that welds aluminum, or maybe I'll just make a make a little redneck fix or something. Another thing that's wrong with it is this little arm thing. There was one on the other side too, but it busted off. So I need to come up with a better solution to hold that gate because I certainly don't trust just one little aluminum arm holding that gate up. We'll come up with something a little better than that uh, for long term. It is a dual axle. Uh, tandem axle and the wheels are quite a bit rusty and they got these little doodads on here and what these are for is you can tell if a lug nut comes loose because if the lug nut gets loose this starts turning so if all these arrows are pointing in the same direction everything's good now the wheels are pretty rusty and I think that's why I got such a good deal on it. I bought this trailer from a used car dealership. I got a I got a smoking hot deal on it you guys. I really did as far as trailers go. I mean a trailer like this right now, brand new, is probably somewhere between seven and eight thousand uh, dollars, which is in insane. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I picked this trailer up for just over four thousand dollars, so I am thrilled about that. Uh, if I see a smoking hot deal, I, I have a hard time passing up. Kind of like my zero turn, right? That was a smoking hot deal. Had to had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I had to buy it. The deal was so good. Another feature that I'm really happy that this trailer has is that it has these feet built right into the ramp. So when you have your ramp down and you're loading and unloading your trailer, the back of your truck isn't going up and down like that because it's got a little support from these feet. Now that can be kind of a concerning issue when you're, uh, you got the, you got the tongue of the trailer right off that ball hitch and, and if you forget to, <laughs> if you somehow forget to put the pin hitch in there, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the tongue on the trailer pops up and hits your tailgate, you might get a little scratch in there. Ask me how I know <laughs> a few years ago with my dump trailer. Oh man, <laughs> that was a hairy ordeal. Oh, inexpensive to fix. <laughs> oh boy. This trailer is capable of hauling a thousand pounds more than my 18 foot steel trailer and the trailer itself weighs a thousand pounds less approximately. So that was the real reason that I wanted because I've been hauling that 18 foot steel trailer uh, for a few years now and it's just it's just a it's a really heavy load on this 99 f-150 it really is especially when you're driving more than a couple hours away so i wanted something a little bit lighter that was going to be a little bit more comfortable towing and i think this trailer is going to work out really well i have not gone a long distance yet with the tractor in fact i've gone that whole one mile to the school and back today um well two miles i guess <laughs> So all the lights work. It's got a it's got a treated floor, uh, treated plywood floor. It used to be um, used by a company called XL Energy, and they probably hauled around like a ditch witch on it or something. I'm guessing uh, XL Energy is our electrical company, so they owned it before. And I don't know. I, I showed you this because you can kind of you can make out where their decal was a little bit. But it is a Triton trailer, all aluminum. Uh, the wheels need a little bit of work. They're a little rusty, but other than that everything works and I'm pretty pleased with it I did purchase these rings for it just so I had something to tie down to because I didn't want to loop through the aluminum the aluminum uh, uh, Stake holder there didn't want to do that or wreck it and mar it all up. So Yeah, I got to get I got to get some a little bit longer quarter-inch chain and And I'll be in good shape uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty nice trailer. So the biggest reason I got it, it's lighter weight and it will haul more than my 18 foot trailer did. And it'll be a lot easier on my truck. So I'm hoping it works out pretty good. I think it will. Uh, tell me what you think guys. Uh, that's pretty much it about my trailer. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Give me a like on this video if you would. I'd appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel, and until next time, keep on tractoring, and God bless.